A trip to Cairo, Egypt's capital city, is exciting, yet can be intimidating at the same time. Cairo is a huge metropolis. It's one of the biggest cities in the Middle East. The noise, the traffic jams and the security guards can be daunting for tourists, yet this is an amazing place to visit. It is well lit and generally safe if you take the correct precautions. Hiring a reputable guide to help you get around and to help you with negotiating prices is advisable. They're also aware about the trouble spots and where thieves are more likely to operate. We had a guide for our time at the pyramids and the Khan al-Khalili markets. Another piece of advice is to consider the time of year that you travel to Egypt. The summer can be ferociously hot and it's best to be avoided. If you only have one day in Cairo, spend it wisely. My advice is to hire a guide for the day, focus on the truly Egyptian experience and to visit the attractions that you can't see anywhere else in the world. At the top of my list are the legendary Pyramids of Giza on the west bank of the Nile River. The world famous Museum of Egyptian Antiquities, a quick shop at Khan al-Khalili Market and an evening sail down the Nile. This may not sound like a lot, but with Cairo's huge urban sprawl, continuous traffic jams and crumbling infrastructure, just getting around can be difficult. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The most obvious thing to do in Egypt and Cairo, of course, is to visit the legendary pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. My advice is to head here first thing in the morning. They open at 8am and this way you get to avoid the crowds and the heat of the day. The pyramids of ancient Egypt were built around 2550 BC as tombs for kings and queens. The famous period of Khufu is the biggest and the most intact pyramid in Egypt. It is one of the seven wonders of the world and certainly will not disappoint. It contains 1.3 million blocks of limestone, ranging from 1.5 to 2.5 tonnes each. The original height of the pyramid was 146.5 metres tall, making it the tallest building in the world until the Eiffel Tower in Paris was built in 1889. There are several theories as to how the people of Egypt built these structures 4,500 years ago. Think about what went into lifting and moving these heavy blocks into place. Even with a massive amount of labour available at the time, this still would have been one awesome task. The Great Sphinx of Giza is one of the largest and oldest statues in the world. Carved from a single piece of limestone, it resembles a lion's body and a human head. The Great Sphinx faces the sunrise and guards the pyramids of Giza. The Sphinx is huge. It measures 73 metres long and 20 metres wide. The eyes in the Sphinx are nearly 2 metres high. A little warning. The pyramids and the Sphinx are notorious for aggressive vendors, persistent guides and determined camel and horse riders. This can make a trip to the pyramids a very stressful experience. Watch your belongings. Remember that this is a poor country with a very large population. After visiting Giza, my guide and I headed straight to the Egyptian Museum of Antiquities, or more commonly known as the Cairo Museum. 
This is a must-see on any visit to Cairo. The museum holds over 150,000 of the world's most valuable collection of items from ancient Egypt. These include treasures from the tomb of Tutankhamun and the contents from several other tombs. Next stop on my best of Cairo in a day is a visit to the Khan Al Khalili Market. This market is located in the heart of Cairo, not too far from the museum. This busy and open air bazaar is filled with unique and exotic items. Stalls are filled with colourful lanterns, candles, jewellery, perfumes and heaps of local handicrafts. This is a great place to shop for souvenirs. Most of the shopkeepers speak English and it's a great place to test your haggling skills. After a long day getting around Cairo and visiting the main sites, wind down in the evening and hop on a felucca and sail down the Nile. A felucca is a traditional sailboat that was used to transport goods up and down the Nile to Cairo. Meals are included on many of the boats, however because of the risk of food poisoning we did not eat anything outside of our hotel. Still, time on the felucca is a nice way to end your day in Cairo. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Ask a question or leave a comment below. 